Hi guys, thank you for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena. I'm a hair and makeup artist. I'm based in Toronto. And today we're gonna be talking about thinning hair and the best shampoos and styling products that you can use if you feel like your hair is thinning. If you've clicked on this video, you're probably suffering from thinning hair or you know somebody who has thinning hair. Maybe you're kind of freaking out that you might be losing your hair. Let's start with the first thing. Hair loss or alopecia is usually hereditary. If you have alopecia in your family, it's very possible that that that's going to happen to you as well. I'm sorry to say that, that a lot of the things that happen to us, the way we age, the way we're built, this is just genetics and there's nothing we can do about that. So that's the bad news. I do know of three shampoos that have helped my clients get really great hair. One shampoo that keeps coming up is the Aveda Avanti shampoo. I know of a friend of mine who had alopecia and she said that when she used the Avanti system, her hair grew back. That's pretty amazing. So she actually had bald spots. Another shampoo that I really like is Nioxin. There are no studies that actually show that this works, but I, I did have a client. He was really, really terrified of losing his hair. I gave him a really nice haircut. He came back, I saw him the next year and his hair was completely different. It was healthy, it was shiny, it was full, his scalp was healthy. And I was like, what have you been doing? And he said, Nioxin. He used it religiously. So that's another point that I want to say. You have to use these shampoos religiously. And the third one that I really like is Kevin Murphy. I believe in Kevin Murphy. It's an excellent brand. It's an excellent company. I love Kevin Murphy himself. Every single product that I have used from the Kevin Murphy line has worked like magic for my clients. It's one of those lines that does what it says. It's effective. Your hair never feels weighed down. So I trust Kevin Murphy and they have a line called the plumping line and that's the pink one. It's a little bit more expensive than their regular shampoos and conditioners, but that's because they really put in all of the right ingredients to help you have thicker, more luscious hair. All of these shampoos are a system. You have to remember to use them religiously. So you can't use it whenever you feel like it. You can't alternate it with a drugstore shampoo. It's just not gonna work. They also all come with some type of a serum or kind of a scalp treatment that helps grow the hair. Now, in addition to that system, what I want you to get is a nice detoxifying shampoo that cleanses your scalp. You want a clarifying shampoo that's going to exfoliate your scalp so that all of the sebum and the oils are removed and it creates a really nice healthy environment for your hair to help it grow because a healthy scalp means healthy hair. By the way, some people just shed a lot. It doesn't mean that you have thinning hair or that you should be afraid for hair loss. I do want to dispel another myth and that is volumizing shampoos are meant to create volume. They're not meant to fix the problem. If you find a shampoo that says volumizing for thin hair, for fine hair, that's not a medicated shampoo. That's not a shampoo that's going to help you grow your hair. This is a shampoo specifically created for styling only and to give the illusion of fuller hair, thicker hair, so that you're able to style it and feel better. But it's not going to actually help you fix the problem. The only thing that has been scientifically proven to help thinning hair is minoxidil. And you can get that through prescription from your doctor. I used it myself because I have quite a bit of a thin piece up here that shows through whenever my hair gets longer you can actually kind of see my scalp minoxidil does work so that's the only thing that has been scientifically proven to actually grow your hair I do want to talk a little bit about eating and diet your hair is made up of 90% protein and hair is made up of 20 amino acids your body can create 11 of those amino acids by eating well you can create those amino acids for your body that can help create better hair I really truly believe in inner before outer. Make sure you get all of your nutrients. Make sure you're taking all your supplements. Make sure you're sleeping well and there's no stress in your life. The more stress you have, the more it's going to show up on your hair. A lot of us also as women are low in iron. So I highly encourage you to go for blood work and see if you're low in iron or any of the B vitamins because that really can change your life. By the way, if you are missing any of those major vitamins or minerals, you will notice a dip in your mood. Maybe you're lacking focus. Maybe you're not sleeping very well. Maybe you're getting a little bit irritable. You know, you have to look at your body as a holistic machine. It's not just your hair. It's everything. And finally, I want to touch on styling products. You want to go for anything that says volumizing on it. So a nice volumizing mousse. There's also topic fibers. Those are great. I use them on my clients. So that's my advice for you. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to hear from you. Leave in the comments below your experience with any of the products that I have mentioned today. I hope I helped you. I hope I answered a lot of your questions. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.